Hi everybody, um, I'm here with Bill Schnabel uh, at the American Geophysical Union Fall Meeting. Um, we're here right upstairs from the poster hall. Um, I wanted to talk to you, Bill, a little bit about what a scientific meeting is for and why do, why do scientists come to big meetings like this? Oh, good question, Marmion. Uh, AGU, uh, American Geophysical Union, the, the largest geophysical meeting in the world. Um, and there are 25,000 plus people here, people of uh, senior scientists and people of K through 12 and undergraduates and graduates and faculty and researchers and people from all over the world and uh, talking about science. So um, what are some of the reasons that these kind of conferences are important for scientists? Here's why. Um, oftentimes we all you know, we all live and work in our places, you know, for example, we're at University of Alaska Fairbanks, we have a routine, we're getting stuff done. But one of the most important things we need to do in science and engineering is communicate those results. Um, getting that, that, those results out to the public, out to other scientists and engineers is absolutely important. Uh, meetings like this allow us to come together and talk about our results to the public, to other scientists and network outside of our normal uh, workplaces. I, I imagine that you oftentimes can find new collaborators or maybe you know find undergraduate students that are looking to go to graduate school. It has to be something that happens here for all universities, including ours. Yes, uh, finding new collaborators is one thing. We have, there are uh, oral sessions and poster sessions. And so uh, in an oral session, you know, it's, it's generally you'll have one person or a group of people up in front of an audience telling a story about science or engineering. In the poster sessions, it's usually just one person up talking about a project. And, and downstairs from here, there's this exhibit hall with thousands of posters and many of those posters are populated by by students and and faculty members and you can just go up and talk one-on-one -on -one with the people so there's different levels of networking all across the spectrum yeah I, I feel like UAF has a pretty good presence at this conference I've seen lots of our, our scientists here talking to other scientists um, this is kind of a big deal for UAF in particular. I, I, I would agree. I would say this is probably UAF's biggest conference. Uh, we do a whole lot of things at UAF that are very uh, germane to what goes on here. So they have a, a unit on the cryosphere, uh, the, the, the cold region sphere. They have hydrology and earth science and uh, space weather and uh, all of uh, sea ice, all of the different things that we really focus on Many of the different things that we focus on at UAF are represented right here. So yeah. oftentimes I will see people down here that uh, work at UAF that I see them more often down here than I do on UAF campus. Have you been going to AGU for quite a few years, I imagine? I have. I've worked at UAF now for about 12 years and probably nine or ten times of those years I've, I've gone. It's, it is the conference to go to yeah. for many of us at UAF. Yeah, awesome. Um, well, thank you so much, Bill, um, for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference and meet lots of new collaborators and students and things like that. Great. Thank you.